Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching Goodfellas. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. Thank you to all of my little golden grams who stick around, who subscribe, and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. You guys are the backbone of this community and this channel, and I'm so grateful to have you here to discuss these movies and shows with. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you keep clicking on my videos but you're not subscribed, what are you doing? There's a little red button down below. It's super easy to click and it's free. Maybe consider doing it. Today we're watching Goodfellas, another Martin Scorsese movie, a movie with a great cast of Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro, and unfortunately an actor who recently passed, Ray Liotta. I'm not super familiar with Ray's work, so I'm excited to see what he did in this movie, in this iconic film. I've definitely heard this film mentioned a lot in my life, of course. I've always known that it existed, but I just had never gotten around to seeing it. So I'm excited to see what it has in store today. I'm kind of expecting a similar style to The Departed since that's another film that we've watched here on my channel that Martin Scorsese directed. I think The Departed was actually the first Scorsese film I watched. Is that true? Let me check something. Wait, no freaking way. Did my man do Shark Tale? What? Oh, he did Cape Fear too, another film with Robert De Niro. I did see that. That is a, that's a crazy movie. That makes sense that he did that because Robert De Niro was also in that. Did he do Shark Tale? No. For some reason, when you Google what films did Scorsese direct, Shark Tale is coming up. Oh, because he's in it. He's in that movie? <laughs> man, Shark Tale was such a, Shark Tale was a great movie, man. Shark Tale was a great movie. It, it didn't get as much, uh, as popular as Finding Nemo. I think they came out around similar times, I believe. But man, we loved Shark Tale in my house. I watched that movie so many times. Anyway, that's not what we're watching today. It's also not a movie directed by Martin Scorsese, but for some reason Google thinks it is just because apparently he was maybe in it. I don't know. Let's get back to the point. I think the only Scorsese films I've seen, if I'm correct, are Cape Fear. I watched that randomly with my family years ago and The Departed here on my YouTube channel. I haven't seen a lot of other popular movies like Wolf of Wall Street, which is definitely on my list. So excited to be checking out another film from Scorsese and getting a more rounded out picture of his directorial style. Interested to see if it kind of matches the tone or the style or the vibe of The Departed. The Departed was a very fast paced thriller. It kind of felt like I was being bombarded with so much, but there wasn't a whole lot of character progression. It was mainly just like exciting and thrilling and crazy. So I'm interested to see if these characters have any character progression to them or if it feels kind of just like you're watching life play out really fast and it's like a domino effect of crazy shit happening. Curious to see what it is. I did enjoy The Departed a lot and I love Robert De Niro. He's a fantastic actor, Joe Pesci as well. So I'm excited to see them in this movie and also Ray Liotta. I'm not super familiar with the movies that he's done. So should be a fun time, should be interesting. But real quick before we hop on into this movie, I do wanna mention that I do have a Patreon page for those of you guys that don't know. If you wanna catch my full length watch along style reactions to these movies and shows that we watch over here, I always link my Patreon in the description down below. I also link my second channel, Just Nat, down below in the description as well. If you guys like live streams or gameplay videos or just random different kinds of reaction videos, I've been doing a little bit more content over there lately and just having fun with a different style. But with all that being said, guys, I think I am just ready to hop on into this one. It's definitely a long movie, so I'm ready to buckle up and see what it has in store. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. New York, 1970. Oh, is he alive? Oh, they thought he was dead. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. Oh, is he the narrator, Ray Liotta? That's crazy. Oh, now it's 1955. Ah. Him and being somebody in the neighborhood that was full of nobodies. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Or you could just move out of the neighborhood. <laughs> you could aspire to leave the town, but I guess if you don't want to leave Brooklyn, then yeah, you'd want to be these guys. See, people like my father could never understand, but I was a part of something. I belong. 
I'm sure you can understand that. He just wanted better for you. He wanted you to get an education. Oh, did you have a good day at school today? Uh. He's always pissed off. Uh huh. Well, he is Irish. <laughs> Listen, I love the Irish. I'm part Irish. It's a letter from school. Uh oh. Says you haven't been there in months. Uh oh. Uh oh, you in trouble. You in such trouble. In months? <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. He knew what went on at that cab stand. And every once in a while, I'd have to take a beating. That's not good, but it is the 50s, so I'm not really surprised. My dad said he's gonna kill me. Look. Come on with me. Oh, what are we gonna do? Ask the guy. Get him. Huh? What are we doing? Excuse me. Yeah? The mailman? Hey, hey, hey. Because he delivered a letter from school? It's his job! He's a federal employee! We're, wait, we're beating up the mailman? This is not f***ing cool. Yeah. Deliver mail to his house? Yeah, it's his job! Come on, any letter from that school to that kid's house comes directly here, you understand? Yeah. You could have just asked him, he probably would have said yes. No more letters from truant officers, no more letters from school, in fact, no more letters from anybody. Oh, no. No mother, no letters from anybody, they were that scared. Who is it? Who is that? That was the first time I'd ever seen anyone shot. Just one of the guys, one of the guys, okay. Can't have that in here. Can't have that in here. I knew Polly didn't want anybody dying in the building. You're a real jerk. You wasted eight f***ing aprons on this guy. What the hell's wrong with you? I gotta toughen this kid up. <laughs> I gotta toughen this kid up. Let the man bleed out. What the f*** is wrong with you? Aprons is like 50 cents. An apron. You know how much aprons cost? It was when I met the world. <gasps> met the world? When I first met Jimmy Conway. Robert De Niro. He'd give the doorman a hundred just for opening the door. Wow, he's rich rich. What the f*** is he doing? Jimmy, I'd like you to meet the kid Henry. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, got a 20 just for giving him a drink. And when the cops, they assigned the whole army to stop Jimmy, what did he do? He paid him off. Yo, he made him partners. Yep, yep, pay him off, yeah. These are cigarettes, right? Boxes of cigarettes. Where'd you get those cigarettes? Get him out, out of here. Right. Get him out of here. Yeah. So okay. get him out of here. Okay. Get him out. No. saying it's okay. It's okay. And it's like these are cops, Henry. They're cops. Oh no. The state of New York versus Henry Hill. The people of the state of New York. Henry, you're a child, and look at the shit you're in. This is so bad. Oh. Counselor Percy. Is the judge? Are they paid off? That that smile just seemed like we're gonna be fine here, right? Your graduation thing. I'm all for it. I got pinched. Everybody gets pinched, but you did it right. You told them nothing, and they got nothing. Uh, and you learn the two greatest things in life. Never rat on your friends. Uh-huh. And always keep your mouth shut. That's, those are the two most important things in life. Never rat anyone out and keep your mouth shut. Oh, you broke it, Jerry. Oh, they're all proud of him. This is so f***ed up. They're like, look at you. You're a man. Oh, my God. His pa Where are his parents? I'd be having a heart attack if I was his mother. Idlewild Airport, 1963. Oh, is he all grown up now? It's gotta be like almost 10 years later. Yep. Oh, I think that guy that was selling cigarettes with him was like young Joe Pesci's character. I really love the aesthetics of the 50s, but like I used to think I'd wanna go back into the 50s and live there. Two just stole my truck. You believe that shit, huh? And then I hear shit like that and I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't wanna go back to the 50s. Also as a woman, not a good time, but man, I look good in a poodle skirt. I'll take care of it. Oh my God, the intense zooming in, the suspense of the business. And it kind of reminds me of the way The Departed started off with like a young kid being kind of groomed into this industry. Like Henry is like Matt Damon's character in The Departed. <laughs> the bank job away in Seat Caucus. Secaucus, New Jersey. Joe Pesci's accent is amazing. <laughs> really funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you mean I'm funny? <laughs> it's a good story, it's funny, you're a funny guy. What is he taking, he does he? What do you mean, you mean the way I talk? What? Oh no. What's wrong with it being funny? It's nice to be funny. Funny how? Everybody was laughing. But I'm funny how? I mean funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you. Like the way you tell a story is very amusing. You're very talented. I'm not just... Oh God, come on, come up with something, Henry. No, no, I don't know, you said it. How do I know you said I'm funny? Just compliment him, Henry, it's not that f***ing hard. He's clearly getting offended for no reason. Tell me, tell me what's funny. Say something! Get the f out of here to tell me. <laughs> yeah, my I almost had him! Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I wonder about you sometimes, Henry. You may fold under questioning. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. It's all good. Yeah, it's no problem. Don't put it on my tab. It ain't just this here. It's seven 
Some big ones here, seven f***ing G's. Yo. Seven G's in the 60s, that's a lot of money. You know, Sonny, you're a real f***ing mutt. You know the money- Oh no, oh no, Sonny, oh no. What do you mean, don't be like <laughs> Real nice to treat the people who run this joint like that. Yo, f***. Everybody else in the restaurant isn't laughing. They're all horrified. You're a funny guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it, Henry. That's it, Henry. He pulls out a gun as part of the joke. Oh my god. I mean, that is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. But like, can we pay the staff? Okay, what? She don't want to go out with Italians alone. Well. She's prejudiced against Italians. I can't believe this. Prejudice against a Jew blood. Prejudice against Italians. <laughs> What is I figure you come along and go out with a girl. Is she prejudiced or is she just scared to go out alone with a man? Because Italians and Jews aren't that different. I'm trying to bang this f***ing bro. You want to help me out? Go out with her Jewish friend, Henry. And here I am, a backup guy. That's f***ing funny. Is he going to fall in love with the girl? That'd be really funny. I couldn't wait to get away. No. Ordering the dessert when they were eating dinner. This is awkward. You can't even try. Joe. The check. Oh, poor girl. You can't humor her. I couldn't stand him. <gasps> She's narrating now. They're gonna get married. They're gonna get married, huh? You don't mind, do you? It's very annoying. <laughs> you guys like each other, huh? <laughs> Before it was even time to go home, he was pushing me into the car and then pulling me out. Oh my god. What the f? <gasps> Now she's wearing a red dress with holes in it like Diane was wearing. He stood her up. Wow, wonderful. We're dragging her out. Diane, you couldn't have just gone out with Joe Pesci the second time by yourself. You had to drag your friend into this. That's horrible. Would I make Tommy take me looking for him? Really? You gonna show him what for? Who the hell do you think you are? Frankie Valley or some oh. kind of big shot? <laughs> you tell him, girl. Thought it was next week. You no, you didn't. Smack him. I mean, maybe don't escalate it to violence, but I have a feeling you guys are gonna get married. Uh, let me make it up to you. Karen. I'll think about it. Yeah, you'll think about it, uh-huh. I mean loud. Yeah, that's what got him going, her passion. My daughter says that uh, you're half Jewish. <laughs> um, just the good half. Just <laughs> I bet Joe Pesci and that, what's his name, Polly? is that his character's name? I bet him and that Diane girl aren't gonna work out. Maybe they will, but these two for sure are gonna get married. Anthony, right in the front. Great, great, thanks. Anything you need, Henry, just let me know. Wow. She must be, like, impressed to see this happen. Like, a table just get brought in the moment people see you all the way in the front. You get to sit in front of these people who paid to be here. You just get to skip the entire line. I would be like, who the f*** are you? What do you do? <laughs> exactly, yeah. My question too. I'm in construction. No. <laughs> That's like when an Italian guy tells you, like when you see their mansion and they're like, I'm in sanitation. <laughs> She's smart. She's like, no, you don't. Don't buy wigs that come. Let me cuss. Oh, let me cut away right, right in that moment when they were about to kiss. So call me now. Okay, why are you, you keep jumping in the pool. We get it. <laughs> Show us the wig after getting out of the pool. You're gonna fight with Jimmy Conway? He wants his money. Give him his money and let us just get the f out of here. Hey, f him. F him in the year. What do you think? Uh oh. He's got money for that f commercial, yo. <laughs> good commercial. You don't got my money? Oh, the wig came off. The wig ain't that good, huh? You could what? Believe me. Karen, hey, slow, slow down. down. It's Karen calling? Why is she calling here? Stay there. Don't move. What's happening? <laughs> What's going on with her? What happened? Karen. What happened? He started to grab me. I told him to stop. He didn't stop. And then he got really angry. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get, he's gonna beat the shit out of this guy. He's gonna beat the shit out of this guy. Oh, you're dead, son. You sure you're all right? He's gonna make her go in the house, lay down and get some rest. And then he's gonna go kick this guy's ass. <gasps> Don't kill him. Don't kill him. That is too much. Don't kill him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You want something? Huh? Oh, hey, hey. oh, he's just beating his ass with the gun, I see. Okay, good. I mean, this isn't good. We shouldn't be doing this, but I don't really blame him. If you touch her again, you're dead! Oh. Yeah, you deserved it, you prick. Oh, she was watching. How does she feel about that? You're hiding this. Are you all right? Oh, you're making her hide it? You're making her hide it? Is it for self-defense? Who would have gotten out of there the minute their boyfriend gave them a gun to hide. Uh-huh. But I didn't. Yeah. I gotta admit the truth. It turned me on. Yeah, you liked it, huh? 
There's two kinds of women in this world. One who would f Oh, yep, they're getting married. Ma there it is, Mazel Tov. Oh, he wore a keeper for the wedding. Good man, good man. Dude, what can you do? He's not Jewish. Did you know how these people live? Did you know what they were like? You tricked your mother. You should have been honest. He's with his friends. Dad! Will you leave him out of this? He suffered enough. The man He suffered enough. Just a decent meal in six weeks. <laughs> He hasn't been able to digest a meal. <laughs> Listen, we can't do, Jews can't do that even when we are healthy. Ma, stay out of it. Where? Mother. Where have you been? Wow, you guys need to move out, please. A married man does not stay out like this. Uh, oh my God, this is not good. The shade. Yeah. Where are you from? Lawrence. Oh yeah, Lawrence out on the island, it's nice. I'm from Miami. On Long Island, Miami. Okay, but it's like you died and woke up in Jew heaven. Miami's Jew heaven? I hate Miami personally, but... Now Jeannie has a husband and a son in jail and a mother in the funeral parlor. Oh, that come on. That's stressing her out? Yeah, this is what you married into. God forbid, what would happen if you had to go to prison? Karen! Yeah, I mean, you should have... You should have known about this. I know what I'm doing. I got things organized with these guys. Yeah, that's what you say right now, but what about in 10 years? I don't blame her for worrying, but you already married the guy. You should have had these questions before you married him. I was saying, oh, now it's 1970. Henry, it's his joint. It's his Lisa. Hi. Oh, now he's, yeah, he didn't stick with Diane. Now it's Lisa. I knew it. I used to call him Spit Shine Tommy. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, he make your shoes look like fucking mirrors. No more shines, Billy. What? I said no more shines. Maybe you didn't hear about it. You've been away a long time. They didn't go up there and tell you. Oh, wow. This, Tommy, Tommy, relax. Relax. It's not a big deal. He just doesn't. Well, insecure. Got a big ego, Tommy. I'm sorry, too. It's okay. No problem. Okay, salute. Oh, my God. The tension. Oh, my God. Now go home and get your f***ing shine box. Mother f***ing mutt guy. Don't get nervous. You, Don't, get nervous. You. Don't get nervous. I'm, I am get nervous. You, you insulted him a little bit. You got a little out of order yourself. No, I didn't sorry. insult him. I didn't insult him. At the end there, you did. At the end there, you did. Timmy definitely ruffles up a lot of feathers around town. Not a lot. Of, a lot of people don't like him. And I want what I gotta get. No, no. Get the door. Oh, we're all beating him up now. This is what we're doing now. We're killing him. Are we killing him over this at his own party? What the? F this is. F Bad. Don't worry, don't worry. I know place up safe. I'll never find it. Come on, let's get some more. Oh, this is now we're going. I don't want to get blood on your floor. Oh, this is his restaurant. That's what he feels bad about is getting blood on his floor. Yeah. Tommy, what the f man? And Robert De Niro's character just got right into it. Started beating him up with him. Like, come on now, what the f <laughs> Yep, now we're caught up completely. There we go. Shooting people was a normal thing. It was no big deal. Yeah, this is concerning, Henry. You should get out of this. I can't imagine you could, though. Before you could touch a made guy, you had to have a good reason. Oh, and he didn't get an okay. Right. Tommy, you're going to get whacked for sure. Tommy's going to get whacked. Saturday night was for wives, but Friday night at the Copa was always for the girlfriends. The girlfriends? Wonderful. A yeah, white girl can fall for him. What? Well, I mean, not me. I'm just saying, like, you could see how some girls could, you know, like that Swedish girl. Now you say, in other words, you condone that stuff. <laughs> you know, you can see how a girl could, you know, he's got personality. I agree with you, girl. I could see how a girl could. I could. It's like the older generation with their younger girlfriends. The younger girlfriends are like slightly less racist because it's the younger generation. You could kiss a black man? What the f You're crazy. The lyrics, it's like talking about his wife. Pretend you don't see her, pretend you don't love her. So you can be with your girlfriend. Pretend you don't need her, yeah. This is awful. He's just out having an affair. Here she is with the babies. Oh, thank God, they had daughters. What do you hear about that thing? Oh yeah, the murder. Don't f around with Polly. The, he came into the joint that one night and then he just disappeared. That was it. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Henry, it's going to be the end of you. I have a feeling. I also think now that he's, we've seen him commit this affair with his girlfriend too, it's like showing him sitting so it, he might get killed by the end of this. Oh, here he is cheating again. Oh my God, it's the TikTok song. Henry. It's the one the TikTok song is inspired by. Holy 
Oh no! Oh no! I set up Janice in an apartment around the corner from the suite. That way I was able to stay over a couple nights a week. Wonderful. Yeah, so he's just sinning repeatedly and repeatedly, committing this affair over and over again, getting mixed up in this murder So uh, I feel like it's gonna be his downfall coming soon. You wanted a drink? I just asked you for a drink. No, I thought, I thought you said that you were all right, Spider. No, you ain't all right, Spider. You got a lot of problems. No, I thought you said. Dude, what the f Just say I'm sorry. What the f I thought, I thought I am. I thought, you uh, you've been doing this all I, I, night to me, you motherfucker. Dude, just get him a drink. God, you dumbass, this kid. Shane, Oklahoma kid, that's me. I'm the Oklahoma kid. Yeah, oh, f***ing Pull the gun. He's a doctor. Put the gun away. Tommy, Tommy's got to be done. Let him crawl there like he crawls for the Tommy is way too unhinged. Way too unhinged. Tonight. Two weeks. Tommy, will you grow up? Stop! Two weeks. Karen, she's desperate to get him to stay home. I'm telling you, I look in your face and I know that you're lying! <laughs> you're f***ed up in the head, Karen. This is all in your mind. You're a f***ing gaslighter, manipulator, lousy bastard. I agree. Get out of my life! Oh. Oh, this is, oh, this poor little baby girl is watching this play out. I feel bad. Tell the truth, you're looking for sympathy. Is that it, sweetie? Why don't you go f yourself, Tommy? Hey, this is for you. Atta boy. Atta boy. I got respect for it. I do too. That takes balls. I agree. But Tommy doesn't like that. Tommy is really unhinged. What's the world coming to? The world is coming to how do you like that tommy tommy's got to be done guys tommy's got to be done tommy's got to be done tommy's got to be done he just killed a kid he just killed a kid for joking hello hello, hello? this is karen hill i want to talk to you does she go to the girlfriend's apartment yeah you keep away from my husband you hear me yeah you dumb Holy sh Karen. I'm crazy enough to kill the both of you. The both of you? Janice too? Karen, <laughs> I love you. You know I love you. No, you don't. I don't know. Don't kill him. Just ask for a divorce, ma'am. Just get a divorce. I just kill you! Oh no, they are in, they are in their, her house. It is their house. How does it feel, Karen? <laughs> Karen, just get a divorce, ma'am. Although, I feel like in this situation, she is kind of trapped because if you get a divorce, it's like you're going up against the entire Italian mob and they have all the money and to get good lawyers and make paint you like you're a horrible wife and he would be able to take the kids from you. It would be horrible. Oh, they're over here at the girlfriend's. Lovely. I like watching the style change from like the 50s to the retro, this look of the 70s. It's cool. Karen came to the house. Karen came to Polly. Interesting. She's getting all hysterical. She gets very excited. She's wild. She's getting all hysterical. It's f***ing reasonable that she's getting upset. You have to do the right thing. You have to go home to the family, you understand? You gotta go home, okay? So ironic seeing the cross on his neck. Yeah, you gotta be a f***ing father, you piece of sh Jimmy and Tommy were going down to Tampa this weekend to pick up something for me. Instead, you go with Jimmy. Yeah, you come with me when we're down. I thought you just said go back to your family. <laughs> Gonna pay it. This is this is this is a vacation. What, we dumping him at the zoo? What's happening? Oh, we're threatening him with a lion? No f***ing way. We're threatening him with a lion. They must really feed each other to the lions down there because the guy gave the money right up. When we got home, we were all over the newspaper. At first, all over the newspaper. Then I found out that the guy we roughed up turned out to have a sister working as a typist for the FBI. Who could believe it? Oh wow. So you're going to jail. You're not going back to Karen, huh? Judge gave Jimmy and me 10 years like he was giving away candy. 10 years. Karen, look what you got yourself into with this prick. Your worst nightmare coming true. In prison, dinner was always a big thing. Is he going to live large in prison with Polly? You know, it, when you think of prison, Here's your lobsters. you get you're the warden or whatever delivering lobsters. They get to wear regular clothes, too. It's crazy. Salami, prosciutto, a lot of cheese. Come on, come on, what else? So much booze and food. 
Cigars, they're living large. This is crazy. <laughs> What's in there? Oh, it's pills. What are these pills you're taking, dude? Oh, he's selling drugs in general population. Damn. And this guy's helping him, so crazy. She gets to cut the line again. That's so funny. We're getting the royal treatment of cutting line in prison. I got a guy in here from Pittsburgh who's gonna help me move it. I'm afraid if Polly finds out. Finds out what? Oh, because he's got an independent operation? I don't want to hear a word about her anymore, Henry. Never. Four years later. Wow, what a sharp cut. Karen, what the f***? You can't get a j I mean, she's taking care of these kids and it's she's all alone. It's so f***. Awful, but her, their kids are gonna be more grown up now. This is crazy. I just, for the sake of my kids, man, I would just be doing everything I could to get away from this man. Yeah. Are you here to stay? Did you see our pictures? I did the one with the house and the rainbow. Oh, uh, I'm gonna cry. I feel bad for these little girls. I gotta go to Pittsburgh in the morning. Those guys out there, they owe me 15 grand. You have to go see your parole officer tomorrow. Karen, don't worry about it. You tell her, don't worry, a sure, a, a lot. A lot, you tell her, don't worry. For someone who was just in jail for 10 years, after telling her not to worry that only dumb guys get caught. Just stay away from the garbage, you know what I mean? The drugs? Well, Paulie, I'm not talking mean? about what you did inside. You did what you had to do. I'm talking about now. The drugs. Yep, selling it. Or taking them. That. Don't make a I'm jerk not. out of me. Just don't do it. Yeah. That means anybody. All right. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think he's taking what Polly's saying seriously at all. There he is, dealing with the sh Now he's getting mixed up in this sh and these are the guys that Jimmy put together for what turned out to be the biggest heist in American history. The Lufthansa heist. Is that what the story is based off of? I forgot this was all based off of a true story. I had everybody working for me. Even our old babysitter, Lois Bird. Did they have another baby? They had a third baby? Same baby you used last week. Oh! Oh, it's just somebody else's baby that she used. My God. To, to smuggle the drugs. Wonderful. Hey! Come on, don't start. You know, I gotta go do this thing. He's using while he's working too. Like he looks so disheveled. He's a mess. He's falling apart. He's not organized. That's what he said. The guys that get caught aren't organized. Daring pre-dawn raid at the Lufthansa cargo terminal at Kennedy Airport. The FBI says two million. Lufthansa. Police say four million dollars. The city cops say five. Was he supposed to be there for that? Was he supposed to be helping with that? Or no, maybe not. Maybe his he wasn't supposed to be there. Damn. I bought it for my wife. It's a coupe. I love that car. Wow. Very nice of you. You got it in pink. I talked to you before, didn't I? Didn't yeah. I say what was going on? Didn't I say not to go buy anything for a while? Yeah, yeah. car. It's a wedding gift, Jimmy. Jimmy's right. What's the matter with you? I apologize. What's the matter with you? Yeah, you should apologize. You should feel stupid. The tension in the room. Leave this. Oh, you're stupid or what? Excuse me. Excuse me. That's mine. Take it off. Oh my god, everyone's doing it. Wow, these guys are stupid. Stacks. Don't you look at anybody. Look straight ahead or I'll get you. Oh. I mean, if I even look at anyone else, kill me. Great. Uh, fun. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and I believe him too. Like, this guy's too unhinged, man. The heist of a lifetime. Six million in cash. More than enough to go around. But people are gonna fight over it, huh? Something's gonna happen. Stacks. Uh oh. What the are you doing? Tommy. What is it, guys? What is it with you, huh? He's sleeping. Yeah, you're always f***ing late. You're late for your own funeral. Come on, make that coffee to go. Let's go. Hey, so cool, you know, And we're not even cleaning it up, huh? We're just leaving him like that. We're not cleaning him up at all. Instead of getting rid of the truck like he was supposed to, he uh -huh. stoned, went to his girlfriend. Oh. By the time he woke up, the cops had found the truck. Oh, That's why we killed him. Poor Stax. I mean, you were a dummy, but damn, I feel bad for you. What? Guess what? What? They're gonna make him. Huh? He's gonna make you. Make him what? We're gonna work for this guy one day. He's gonna be a boss. <laughs> oh, a mob boss? Really, Tommy? He's too unhinged. This is Ridiculous! How does Polly not know what's going on? But Jimmy and I could never be made because we had Irish blood. Ah, you gotta be full, 100% Italian. You gotta be a, a pure blood. See, it's the highest honor they can give you. It also means you could f around with anybody just as long as they aren't also a member. Tommy already does that. Tommy's the worst person to be made. This is horrible. As far as Jimmy was concerned, with Tommy being made, it was like we were all being made. Uh huh. We would now have one of our own as a member. What if it's a joke? Like, what if it's a lie? What if he's actually gonna get killed now? What if it's all 
Not true. Oh, no. Yep, 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 yep. I sense that in the end there. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. He's gone. And we couldn't do nothing about it. That's it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh... He's gone. He's gone. <sighs> yep. Scorsese zoom. The Scorsese zoom. Well, you did what Polly asked you not to do. And also Tommy was f***ing unhinged. There's no way you can make a guy like that. That doesn't make sense. He just knocked the payphone over. You think that'd be bolted to the ground? It was revenge for Billy Bats. Oh. And a lot of other things. Bats was a made man and Tommy wasn't. Oh. Bats was a made man and Tommy killed him. That's f***ing crazy. That's, yeah. Listen, Tommy deserved that. Sorry. He killed a lot of fucking people who didn't deserve it. He killed a kid. Don't feel bad for you. Oh, now it's 1980. We're still doing cocaine? Fun. What's the helicopter about? Stop with those f***ing drugs. They're making your mind into mush. You hear me? Take them back. Oh, it's just these two now operating all alone. They killed everybody else they used to work for, and now they're struggling to get by. And he's just abusing drugs like crazy. I was pretty sure I'd get my money back. Bro, are you still being followed by this helicopter? Like, stop doing what you're doing, dumbass. Just stop doing what you're doing. He's a mess. He's a f***ing mess. Either that or he's being paranoid. Maybe he's just being paranoid. I've seen it every time. I've been all over town and I think I've seen it all day. I can't tell if it is following him or he's just being paranoid. Oh God, I see it. Oh, he's not being paranoid? I mean, she looks like she's an addict too. I can't tell. Maybe that's the point. You can't tell whether they're paranoid or whether it's actually there. I think you're a little paranoid. I think I'm paranoid. Uh-huh. You guys are paranoid. You look hella paranoid, man. You guys look squirrely as f Stop doing cocaine, and you'll be great. Didn't I tell you we're paranoid? Yeah. Uh-huh. Tell me was paranoid? Yeah, I need a hit. This is why- oh my god. So sad, you guys. Stop doing the drugs! Do you understand what we're involved in here? I don't care. I need my hat. I won't fly without it. Lois. Listen, I- I kind of understand you, like, need the lucky hat. How funny would it be if it's, like, not- Oh, you call- oh, it's too late. It's over. It's already over. She's trying to flush it all. Honey, you're gonna go away now. You're covered in it. What are you getting the gun out for? You put it there? You put it there? Why? You think they're not gonna find it? Ma'am, they're gonna search you. Did she, did she successfully flush all the cocaine? That would actually be crazy. People are already walking away from me. I'm dead in here. You gotta get me out. Really? Karen finally got her mother to put her house up. Put her house up, wow. What about your f mother? Why can't your mother do it? Karen's mother is too f nice. I wouldn't have done that sh So now my plan was to stay alive long enough to sell off the dope Where's that the cops never found and then- She flushed it. Where's the stuff that I left, Karen? I flushed it down the toilet. Of course she had to flush it. To protect your ass. Karen, that was worth $60,000! I need that money! That's all we got! It would have been in police custody! It would have been evidence, you dumb f No! Why did you do that? Why? You would have found it. Why did you do that, Karen? You. Karen, you should have left this loser so long ago, man. I can't believe you f love this piece of work. Take this. Wow. Now I gotta turn my back on you. Wow. 3,200 bucks. That's what he gave me. 3,200 bucks for a lifetime. Well, look, the mob has fallen apart. It's it's just a sh shadow of what it once was. You know what kind of questions they've been asking him? They tell you? Jimmy, I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy's asking those questions because I think... As soon as you talk to him, he's got to call me. we got to work on this whole thing. It's very important. Oh, they're going to whack him. They're going to whack him. Over here? Right down there. Are they going to kill her? Are they going to kill her? They're going to kill her. They're going to kill her. Karen, you should have left a long time ago. Now your kids are going to be motherless and fatherless. Who's going to do it? Ah, no, no, no. Hey, go ahead. It's right in there. No, Jimmy. Right there. I'm in a hurry. It's too late, honey. It's too late. I think it's too late for her. You really thought she was going to walk into that, bro? Oh, my God. You guys should have gotten out of town when you had the chance. If you're part of a crew... Nobody ever tells you that they're going to kill you. Yeah. Doesn't happen that way. Right. Right. So it makes you extra paranoid. The kid turned out to be a rat. As soon as he got pinched, he ratted everybody out. He ratted his all out. Would you have a problem going with Anthony on vacation? He'll take care of it. I think this vacation is to get him whacked, to get Henry whacked. 
Jimmy had never asked me to whack somebody before, but now he's asking me to go down to Florida and do a hit with Anthony. Right before his case. It's f sus. That's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida alive. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for the narration, though. I'm picking up what they're putting down. What's he gonna do? Like, I feel like this guy, there's no way this guy can survive. Dude, you meant whenever you move me, I asked you once, and I'm gonna tell you again, I don't wanna go any place it's cold. A witness protection program? God forbid something happens to my parents and they get sick, I can't go and see them? Maybe something could be worked out. This is what you got mixed up in, Karen. Karen, this is what you got mixed up in. I can't leave my parents. You have to. You have to do it for your kids. You literally have to, Karen. The only way they can get to him is by getting to you. Right. Getting to your kids. If you right. Could. They could kill your kids. They could threaten your kids. Karen, you need to do it for your children. You're talking to Henry on the phone. That was a really interesting editing choice. I liked that. What about the kids? With school? Are they, what they get left them? back? I mean, what goes on? So why would guys go down the again, doing it again with arresting the, all the guys. Polly too. Damn. He's ratting them all out. Interesting that we started off this movie with him learning, like, don't rat out people. That's like the most important thing in life. Didn't mean anything. When I was broke, I would go out and rob some more. We ran everything. Where are you going? Are oh, you talking to the camera? Everybody had their hands out. Everything oh. was for the taking. This is an interesting choice. And now it's all over. Okay. Wow, that was a really interesting choice. Oh, now you live in suburbia. Yeah. Get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. A schnook. But you're alive and your kids are safe. Henry Hill is still in the witness protection program. In 1987, he was arrested in Seattle, Washington for narcotics conspiracy. And he received five years probation. Since 87, he has been clean. In 89, Henry and Karen separated after 25 years. My f God, that's 25 years too long. Paul died in 1988 in Fort Worth Federal Prison of respiratory illness. He was 73. Jamie Conway is serving... 20 years to life sentence for murder in New York State. He will not be eligible for parole until 2004 when he will be 78. So the moral of the story is that this guy just misses being a gangster and he had to give up that life. He had to rat everybody out, which was like the one lesson he was told not to do by the people he wanted to be the most like and that he most looked up to. Everybody in this movie sucked. They all sucked. Yeah, this definitely felt very similar in tone and in style to The Departed. Martin Scorsese definitely loves those fast kind of thrilling zoom-ins on characters' faces. Very jarring edits, very fast edits, uh, a lot of narration. Felt very similar to The Departed, especially with the whole starting off with this younger teenage character who's looking up to these people who are living this seedy criminal lifestyle in either Boston or Brooklyn, growing up in this culture and looking up to, you know, either Jack Nicholson's character or Polly in this movie and aspiring to be like them and then watching their whole career play out in that type of lifestyle and ultimately what their demise is and their downfall is. At least in this movie, you know, Henry got to survive. It kind of just felt like a movie about the whole downfall of the mob. <laughs> Which, like, I know the mob technically is still a thing, but it's not really in its heyday anymore like it was in the 50s. Yeah, everyone in this movie just sucked, man. I was just like, I hated everyone, especially, you know, Karen. Uh, this relationship with his wife was just so horrible and so toxic. The only one who really got out of this situation relatively unscathed was Janice, the first girlfriend, because it was like a saving grace when Karen came to prison and said, I don't want to hear her name ever again. He just used that as a loophole to start seeing Sandy instead of Janice. And Sandy was the one who got mixed up with the drugs and got mixed up with all the criminal activity. At least Janice got to escape all that shit. Damn. But everyone in this movie sucked. It just broke my heart for, for these kids. It's funny, both of these movies kind of centered a lot around ego and success or perceived success, like this character really valued the gangsters in his neighborhood and looked up to them and wanted to be like them because he saw the special treatment they got and how everybody just parted the sea for them and gave them stuff and treated them with lots of respect. And in The Departed, it's like Matt Damon's character wants to work in the police force so that he can like abuse his power. And he gets this apartment building that looks out over the Department of Justice so he can look out at it whenever he wants. and. Uh, have this nice apartment and have all these, you know, nice things in his life and have this kind of power. Both of these movies felt like it's just about characters who really crave and are addicted to power at the expense of everything else in their life. In this movie, we just didn't have another <laughs> character to really look up to, though. There was no other 
figure. Like, at least with The Departed, you get Leonardo to kind of, his character's name, I forget his character's name, but to kind of juxtapose Matt Damon's character's experience uh, as this guy who really wants to do good and wants to be a good cop because of his own negative experiences in the world. So in that movie, you kind of get those paralleled experiences. But in this, it's like just following this one character and his toxic relationship with his wife. And nobody is is really acting right in this movie. It's just a slow downfall. And it gets messy. And by the end, you're just ready for the lead character to get karma. Like, I wouldn't have even cared if the lead character died. <laughs> Truly, like... The only thing I would have been sad for is for the kids. Uh, but I was kind of ready for the lead character to, to go bye-bye, uh, truthfully. And then he doesn't even really appreciate witness protection. He just misses being a gangster. It's like, dude, you should be fucking grateful you're alive. But definitely an interesting story. I don't or didn't know anything about the Lufthansa heist. Definitely makes me curious and want to go read more about that. So that's pretty cool. The editing style was fun. The acting was really great. Very suspenseful, very thrilling. And all in all, yeah, it was a fun movie for sure but i'm a character driven person so i will admit i have a hard time when i'm watching movies where all of the characters are so unlikable <laughs> so uh i don't know if i'll ever watch this one again because it just makes me want them all to just <laughs> shut up <laughs> quite frankly i was annoyed with with all of them about halfway into the movie but uh, it was definitely really well made, and there were some great performance moments from a lot of these actors. All of the actors, really, there were a lot of great moments. It just makes me want to watch, like, Cape Fear again or something, because I remember loving that movie, and it uh, just makes me want to watch more Robert De Niro, too. But yeah, this was a fun experience, and I'm glad I've finally seen this movie now. Definitely curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are in the comments down below. Definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked this and you want to see more content like this in the future, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.